Welcome back to Whatever Garage. Today, we're gonna to take a look at another 238. 238? 283, sorry, dyslexia. Um, pick this one up off of Facebook Marketplace, 100 bucks, get what you, you, get what you see. Um, nothing else came with it. The gentleman I got it from bought it at an estate sale and where he got it, he said it was upside down in the dirt and that's where he had it was upside down in the dirt and it looks like it. Um, I scraped out the center valley and so far it doesn't look like I, there are any cracks. So that's a plus. We still have the parts from the other motor that can go onto this motor. So let's dig into it and see what we can find. All right, we've hit the road. We're heading out to go pick up another 283 motor. Uh, hopefully this one's not doesn't have a busted block. But it's bright and early in the morning. We gotta stop off, get cash first, and then we'll about an hour and a half drive, hour and fifteen minutes, somewhere around there. So hopefully we can film when we get there. All right, guys, I did not get to film anything because I don't know if you can tell I'm soaking wet and it's cold. So if I don't get sick out of this, it'll be a miracle. But as soon as I get home, we'll break this motor down and take a look at it because it's rough. Alrighty, here we have the 283 I just picked up today. All right, this one came with the oil pan, fuel pump, water pump, um, buttload of rust came with, it was obviously an automatic because there's the um, 
torque converter and part of the bell housing. Almost looks like an adapter plate. Uh, I need to look up the numbers, figure out exactly when and where this one is. And as you can see, she is rough, rough. So we're gonna get in here with a scraper real quick and check the last place we found the other one burned up at and um, go from there. All right, first of all, comes with a fuel pump. Doesn't do us any good, but at least it has one. All right. Just taking this off just because it actually fits the bolt that I'm working on. Yes, I hear you, pup. It's my neighbor's dog. He's being very talkative today. Um, originally, I was going to show y'all the place that I got this from, but it was pouring down rain, as you can tell from the earlier clip. And I really hate it because he had some awesome vehicles there. He had a 57 Chevy with a, um, a really nice uh, flame paint job on it. He had a couple of Chevelles, um, and we're talking 60s models. Uh, Charger, 68 Charger or 69 Charger, can't remember which one he said. Um, a Cutlass Supreme, uh, beautiful. I think he said that was a 70. Um, what else did he have? An Impala, Corvette. Like, we don't need another Corvette. We need another Corvette like we need another hole in the head. So, yeah. But since it was pouring down rain, we were concentrating only on getting this motor. And then I drove home soaking wet. All right, nine sixteenths. Too big for that. I should have known that. Take off the motor mount. Now, see, I thought the other motor mount was missing the uh, the rubber, but um, there's no rubber on this one either. So, either they're both worn out, or there's no rubber on these motor mounts. Now, there is a lot of oil on this side and bunched up over here. That would be just my luck if that's where the crack is, if there is a crack. Where was I doing this at? Oh. I was right. <laughs> Trust your instincts. Use the force. Oh, wow, that's really caked with shit in there. This doesn't work anymore. No, look at that. There's no resistance. No, look at this. <laughs> Should look at that first. The back underneath of it's rusted through. I mean, yeah. These are the heat shields for the spark plugs up there. Just like we took off the other car, or the other motor. See, that's smaller. And I'm on my last table here. I got a motor on the floor, I got a motor over there, and I got a motor here. take off the um, balancer, whatever the hell it is on this thing. I would call it a balancer. Wrong side. No way. Did it come off or did it break? No, it came off. Huh. It was almost 
too easy. I hate to use those words. Now, of course, it's not going to come off. I need a puller. I've got one of these little three jaw puller thing wearing bobbers. I do have a pulley puller, but this is just so much easier to get to right now. flathead screws. I'm not kidding you. Look at that. Flathead screws. Alright. What I want to be able to see is the back of this. Figure out how to get this thing off. I thought you got to it through this little peep window right here. But I don't see any bolts to undo. So like I said, you look at the little window there, I can see no bolts. And this thing is not going to turn right now. I guarantee that. Oh, you want me to try? Okay. What we will do is we will attempt to pry this. It's going to mess it up, obviously. Don't do that. All right, back to what I was doing. Besides failing miserably. I don't know about these things. See, nothing. Let's get some PV Blaster. We will douse them and let them sit all night and then tomorrow, I will um, get a torch, we'll heat them up, there you go, plenty, 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 more than plenty, too plenty, none down there. All right, get on the back side of it too, getting any groove that'll take it. All right, we've reached the end of what we can do with this hanging in the air, all right, so I'm gonna put it on a little trailer. Yeah, I'm gonna put it on this. We're gonna flip it over and work from the bottom end in because I can't do anything with this right now. Um, we're gonna have to get creative. Creative. And this unfortunately needs to be upside down. There we go. Now, aha, this is actually working. This is a little heavier. Easy. Got to figure out what we're balanced on here. All right. Don't get your hands caught. Okay. Progress. Now, we're dumping dirt for sure. Grease, dirt, everything. Please don't be licking that. Come on, baby. You're smarter than that, aren't you? All right, maybe not, but that's my fault. And then we got some oil in the cylinders from yesterday. We oiled this thing down. We still need to move over. Uh, uh, come on. I need you out of the danger zone, please. Fingers. What do you know? It's working. Okay, now the biggest thing here. Where'd you go, Bo? Oh, you're over there. 
sniffing out the clean parts. Something feels attached still. Did we miss one? Feels like we missed one. Yeah, we missed one. Now for the grand reveal. Oh boy, at least it's not rusty, it's just sludgy, very sludgy. Put that down there, oh man does that stink. All right, um, flashlight, yeah. What we have here is a very dirty motor. Oh, I thought there was something broken in there. That's not, that's, that's the piston itself. Why is it different? Oh, because it's all the way down. Never mind. I'm an idiot. Okay. Looking, looking right off hand. I do not see any damage, but this thing is so dirty that it could have a hole in the block and I wouldn't know it. Let's get busy with the teardown. I just gotta find a place to put all this shit. And what we thought the other one was clogged up? Look at that. That shit nasty. Now here is my thought. Correct me if I may be wrong. I can't get that off because I have no access to the bolts, but I should be able to get end caps off. And with that, I should be able to take that whole thing off together. And then maybe I can do something with it. Or, or I just go ahead and disconnect all the pistons, knock them out, and then the crank should turn, and I should be able to get access to the bolts. Does that sound good? That's what I'm thinking. It has been well over an hour. I've gotten three cylinders out, or three pistons out. So, I have now given up on that for now. And you remember we sprayed these flathead screws down last night for the timing cover. And it was going really good, so I wanted to show you guys. Look at that. I hate to jinx it, but man. Sounded like a hit right. There you go, see? Let's see. Well, you can't tell for all the, the grease. Look at this. I mean, it's like frosting, man. It's only being held on by the sludge that's in here. Ugh. Look at that.
All right, another hour later. Crankshaft's out. Got the collar off. Now I can get to the bolts along the flywheel here, or the flex plate. Um, there's one, two, three bolts. And if that had spun, I could have gotten to them through that access hole. But since the shit wouldn't rotate, excuse me, the stuff wouldn't rotate, we couldn't. Now, I have four cylinders out. The back four are stuck. So we're gonna soak them down and I'm gonna go inside and eat lunch and put ice on my back. Well, here we are back after lunch, just in time to see that the torque converter took a shit on us and I have nothing to absorb that up with. Great. Anyway, we're back at it. I forgot where I left off. If I didn't sum it up, I got the crankshaft off, took it off the hard way. Uh, now we have just four more pistons to get out and then we can pressure wash this shit. So let's get to it. Oh, lovely. And it's like right in the crack too. So it's like seeping all four directions. I hear the mailman. I'm expecting four packages today. No, that's not the mailman. That's somebody else's car. That works. Wow. Took him a minute, but it worked. Did not know that this was full. Should have remembered. All right, I was having to get a little creative to force this out. But we got it. At least one of them. And it doesn't appear to be damaged, which that I'm amazed with. But it took a lot of pounding to get it to come out. Wait a minute, we got, oh, we got a bolt. All right, this is number eight, right? Right, number eight. I had to go caveman on them. You see the uh, where the ring of the uh, rod is here. You, you see the way the rod is there. Yeah, these were completely um, rust welded. The piston broke. Piston broke, and he got bent. You know what? There's no damage to the block. No scratches. It looks good. Tomorrow. Tomorrow we work on getting the lifters camshaft out, and then we are going to degrease this and get her ready for rebuild. See you tomorrow. Give me any beat.
outro is done before the rain starts kicking real hard you can't hear me. I am soaking wet. This is a raincoat. It didn't keep out much of the rain, did it? Alright, what we have here is my 1959 283. I looked up the numbers. It is a legitimate 1959 one. Um, they started in 1957 for the GMC or the Chevrolet pickup trucks. Ours is a 56, it's close enough. I'm not going to go and get a 262, which is what I think it came with, but that's close enough. We drove, what, an hour and 15 minutes one way. Oops, I'm not the camera. Oh, hello. All right, we drove about an hour and 15 minutes one way there to get this, and we got it in the rain. So it's only fitting that we pressure washed it in the rain. Um, it was a greasy freaking mess. And unfortunately I had to get caveman on two of the pistons to get them out. Now, I want your comments. Tell me how would you have gotten those pistons out? Now remember, I needed to have it done before today was over because I have to edit this video and get it up tomorrow. So remember, time crunch. Yes, I could have soaked it for days and days and days but um, it was rust welded to the cylinder walls. Now, I will say, there is barely a lip on the edge of this compared to the other one had a huge lip. This one, not worried about. This one's much, much lower miles than the other one was. Um, now, the camshaft is worn out. The lifters are worn out. I would show you, they're over there maybe next time. They're grooved, so they're pretty well worn. Um, the parts from the other 283 can go in here. I still don't have a camshaft, I gotta get a camshaft. And this intake will go on here. Those heads that we got will go on here. Uh, the only thing we will be missing is a carburetor. I think I have a carburetor. I've got a, um, what's it called? A Holly Econo something? I don't know, it's, it's a, like a 500 CFM, something like that. So it, it's a good one for her to use, get good gas mileage, because she wants to drive this to work. You know, whenever she feels like it. It's gonna be a daily driver kind of thing. Um, what else have I got for you? Oh, I looked up the numbers. Did I say that? I looked up the numbers. It's from, it's a, from 57 to 59, this, this 283 is. So we're in the ballpark of the correct year. And Alex, if you're watching, the block is not cracked on this one. Don't scare your dad like that. He thought it was for the Corvette. Um, anything. Anyway, if y'all watched it this far, I appreciate it. Um, thank you for watching. Keep watching. Um, I know I said it last time, but I mean it this time. We're back on the Corvette. The final parts came in for the seal for the um, gearbox. And it's sort of like when you get a present, it's like Christmas time. You want to open it before you go play with the one you've already opened. Well, that's what this was. I got this and I wanted to mess with this one to figure out what I had before I went and worked on the Corvette. And since it's raining these couple of days, it's perfect because I don't drive my Corvette in the rain. So anyway, we got that coming up, putting the Corvette back together. We still have one little oil leak and um, a wheel cylinder leak to mess with. But since all my seals are new, it's got to be where I, um, I didn't seal it correctly around the oil pan gasket is what I'm thinking. 
Um, so we'll take that off and redo it. Uh, what else? Oh, I want to get the parts to build this motor. Well, we'll put it back together, reseal it. Um, I've got to get an intake for it because it's got the Vortec heads. So the, in, the middle bolts on the the middle holes for the bolts are at a different angle. They're more like for your intakes normally like this, and these are more like this. They're not perfectly straight up. They're just sort of like that. So that's why that one wouldn't work for that. I have a hell of a lot of cleaning up to do. Um, we spilled a bunch of ATF. Got grease, dirt, everything all over there from taking three engines apart. Was it three? One, two, yeah, it was three. From taking three engines apart and messing with them. We got a shitload of dirt to clean up. But right now, you can't see my feet, can you? Now, if I was to take my shoes off, I would leave footprints around here because my feet are soaking wet. Look at that. That's not dark color, that's wet. So we're gonna call it a day and go edit. So anyway, thank you for watching. I think I already said that. Remember to like, share, subscribe. Leave a comment. Let me know what you're working on. Um, just had a new subscriber and he's got some interesting stuff I'm gonna go take a look at. What else? That's it, man. Appreciate y'all watching. This is Whatever Garage, out.